But first, the National Library of China has announced that it is to archive all 200 billion posts on the country's social media site, Sina Weibo, since uh, December 2018. The decision is part of a project to store all national internet information and has sparked a huge debate. Let's talk to our China media analyst, Carrie Allen. What are they doing and why? Well, they're doing this because they see it as a way of preserving China's digital heritage, really. It's a way of keeping everything online, the way that the language has developed, that new buzzwords have sprung up, for example. So um, it's being it's being introduced as a way to help people with um, with history and policy making and academic research. And the idea is it's a bit of a time capsule that people can they, they can go to the library and they can access research um, about their ancestors, for example, in the future. So it's a snapshot from four months or so. What are people saying about it? Well, we have to consider here that this is China and uh, and that the social media environment is very, very carefully moderated anyway. So people are very, very nervous that they've not been given any say in this, that they're, they're hearing the posts that they put on Sina Weibo, ones that they might feel embarrassed about or ones that they've even forgotten about years ago, um, are going to go into this archive. Uh, there's a lot of questions online and there's tens of thousands of people talking about this. Uh, people saying that, you know, they're concerned that it it violates their rights and, and also that it effectively gives the state copyright approval for any content they've posted. So people going back and deleting anything they might be embarrassed about? <laughs> yes. Fair enough. And uh, has this happened anywhere else in the world? It has, actually. It, it did happen with Twitter back in 2010. Um, they gave uh, the US Library of Congress um, tweets between 2006 and 2010, like all of their tweets. Uh, but uh, but obviously, um, I mean, this is, you know, ch- there have been these developments of concerns with privacy data, for example, um, also fake news emerging in social media platforms. So they've now said that they they actually are, are handpicking tweets, not not using everybody's tweets, and they've updated their terms and conditions. But, but yes, um, Sina Weibo is using this as an example, and there's no indication that they're going to do that, that they're actually just going to store everybody's data. Carrie Ellen, our China media analyst. Thank you.